Hi guys, it's Summer here and uh, thanks for coming back to my channel. I know it's been a little bit of a break and uh, actually I think it's been about three years now. Um, but I'm starting to come back to YouTube again. Um, a lot of things have changed. I've gotten a bunch of new goats. I've started a breeding program at my farm. I've learned a lot more and I'm so excited to share everything with you. Um, so today in my video, I'm gonna be going over um, a few shows that I've done um, and I'm gonna be narrating them and going over what I think I did wrong, what I could fix, um, really anything that you guys can learn from them. Um, and I've been showing goats for six years now, so hopefully you guys can learn a little bit more from me. So thanks guys, hope you keep watching. Okay guys, so here we're at my first show of the season, which is the Will's Fair in Howard County, Maryland. Um, and here you can see I'm showing a market goat. I'm the last one in the arena. Um, and as you can tell, my goat is really not working with me, and that's on my part. Um, I should have worked with him a little more, and you can see I'm dragging him, And but again, it's a market class, so it really doesn't matter showmanship-wise. Um, now here, you're going to watch me brace him. I'm definitely, this is not, I do not recommend bracing a goat like this because I extend him too far. Um, he does look a little too long. Um, and next we're going to move into a breeding show that I did. I'm the last one um, with my paint dough. Now you can tell that she has been shown forever. She's three years old. And you're going to watch me look. I have a lot of poise in the arena. Um, she has stands very still. Um, but she had a lot of flies on her that day. So she was getting really bugged. So as a good showman, you're going to keep setting your goat up. You're not going to get tired with her. And you're going to repeatedly set her up. Now she did flip out, so I took her around in a circle, and there's nothing wrong with doing that. Um, if your goat is just just not standing still, you're allowed to take them out of the line and do a circle. Um, just set them back up as fast as you can. So next we're going to move into a showmanship class from my county fair. Um, the last clip was from Maryland State Fair. Um, this is from Carroll County Fair. Um, and this is my senior showmanship. So again, I'm the paint doe. Um, and you're going to watch me sh do a breeding doe in a meat goat showmanship. Um, and you're going to notice the difference between me and the rest of the people in that class. Um, as I'm showing away from my animal, meaning I'm not bracing it, I'm showing off a chain. So off a chain is a lot different because you're more worried about how the animal looks overall. Um, other than how well the animal feels when you put your hands on it. Now here you can see that my arm is behind my back. I'm always keeping my eye on the judge as well as the goat in front of me. I do not want my goat to be bunched up with the goat in front of me. I want to keep a good amount of space. It's kind of like driving. You want to keep a good amount of space in front of the car, for the car in front of you as well as know what's going around, around you. Um, so that's the same thing with goats. So here I'm going to set up again. And this is our profile view. Um, and you're going to see me get her set up as fast as I can. And I pick her up off the ground. And you'll notice this. This is not abuse. I'm picking her up off the ground so I can get her front feet set up and her neck really high. Um, for her, if, when I do this, it makes her ex extend her neck because she has issues with crunching her body up and making her look smaller. Um, so when I do this, it helps her extend herself and stretch out all those muscles. So you can see here I'm bending over again, fixing those back legs because I didn't like them real well. But I always keep my eye on the judge. I do that quick, and then I look back at the judge to see where he is. And I step away from my goat. As you can see, the girl behind me is bracing her goat, so she is on the chain. I'm off the chain. So we're going to keep going through this. And see, my goat peed there. That's why I'm moving her forward. If your goat pees, if your goat moves, you're allowed to move your goat out of the line, always to do a circle. Sometimes judges ask you to do a circle to see if you know what side you're supposed to be on, how well they walk, how well you present your goat. Um, but as I did, I moved forward. And I moved forward, one, because she peed, and two, because the girl in front of me placed already. So I moved forward so the judge could see all three of the exhibitors left. You do this so then when the judge judges all of you, he can better understand who is going to win. This, for the judge, helps him decide 
oh, she knows what she's doing. He knows what he's doing because he moved forward. Now, I placed first in this class because I had the poise. I knew what I was doing. I kept my distance, my face, and um, the girl behind me was very jammed up. She didn't really extend her goat that much. Um, so, overall, at County Fair, I won Reserve Grand Champion Overall Showman. But, as you can tell, in this picture, I am standing very far away from my animal. So a judge can see all the way around it. Much like if you're showing on a chain, you have to stand away from the animal when a judge wants to see the front of it. Now, at the end of a show, you always shake the judge's hand. That's just a definite. You always have to. If you don't, you're considered a bad showman. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll leave it run. Um, this last clip is actually from the champion drive for the county fair. Um, but I just want to thank you guys again. Um, it means a lot. Uh -huh, I'm getting back into YouTube and I'm going to have a bunch more videos coming back. So I hopefully this helped some of you understand what to do. Um, and if you're doing something wrong, just let me know. I usually give back in comments really fast. So, um, Hopefully these helped. I always love looking back at my videos and uh, um, seeing what I can I can improve on. Um, so I definitely recommend when you're at your next show to have your mom or dad take a video of you and um, watch it back. It, it definitely helps. Um, so yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and uh, go subscribe. Click that like button. Hit that bell. I don't care. Um, but I love you guys. So thank you.